Very good morning to you all. Our school, Mohan Masar Government Upper Primary School, is situated in Lower Maupram in Shillong. It is a government school which was founded in the year 1955. Initially, the school was up to class 5 level, but with the upgradation of the upper primary up to class 8, now the school is from class nursery up to class 8. The strength of the teachers is 11, including myself, who is the head teacher of the school. The, our school was founded in the year 1955 and it was named Mohan Masar after a donor of the land, Sri Mohan Masar, who seeing the condition of the people in Mauprem, some of the underprivileged family, he decided to donate the land to cater to those people living here. So till now the school is named after him. Students of our school mostly come from poor socio-economic background. So we, the teachers, we have to deal with lot of with lots of problems. With lots of, we have to find solution how to deal with these students. In dealing with such situation, these are some of the best practices which we have adopted. The first point that we have adopted is the flexible learning environment. The flexible learning environment means that we are not uh, strict with the, student, with the students to do their tasks or to, for the, in their studies, but they can take their time according to their convenience. Because most of the students out here, they have to help their parents at home whenever they go home, or some of them, they are staying in other people's, people's house helping them, so have to, they have to finish their household chores and everything and can do the studies after that. So it takes time for them. That is why we cannot be rigid with them. We give them flexible learning time. We all ensure that midday meal is served regular, daily to the students so that the students will not go hungry. Remedial classes are being provided to the students because they really need this as they get no additional support from home. So after school, some of the teachers who need, uh, decided that those students who uh, need remedial classes, they are asked to stay back and to the teachers help them in their studies. Parent-teacher meetings are uh, held from time to time that the, to let the parents know about their children, their weaknesses, and then what are their needs and what are the what the parents can do for them at home to improve their learn, uh, to improve their learning the teachers also raise a fund where each and every teacher contributed 100 every month to the teachers fund and the fund that we collected is used to provide the needs of the students for home for those who cannot afford. Then when we go for field trip or go anywhere, this fund is used for without asking money from the uh, students. Counseling is also being given to the students from time to time, as well as to the parents to make them understand the value of education and how they can improve their standard of living. For this year, we have adopted the, the staff have decided that in order to enable their leadership quality and to improve their speaking skills, we have introduced the morning assembly to be conducted by the students. We see that this has really boosted their morale and it motivates them to come to school. It boosts their confidence and leadership quality. The school has also introduced the AI class. The AI class which is very beneficial to the students. Not are they only interested in learning, but they are enthusiastic in having that class. Because today with, the, uh, with this present generation where all the students uh, are aware of the computer and the coding and uh, the coding and all the, the technology, so as to say, so they are, they feel very happy to have a hand on it. 
with the we have uh, set up an AI class in our school and with the help of one teacher voluntarily who has some basic knowledge on computer he is taking one uh, class per week to enable to students to learn about it the school week is held once a year for one week to find out the various talents the various gifts of the students here their students can showcase their talent some of them are good in singing in drawing be it in sports be it in any field they can showcase their talent here the uh, teaching method this year has shifted from the traditional method with the introduction of the uh, learning outcomes the teachers carry work out the syllabus based on the learning outcomes as mapped out by the DERT. Social work is carried on from for three, four times in a year to promote cleanliness, hygiene, and to make the uh, students understand the importance of cleanliness. This year, the school has also introduced library where many books are kept with the donor with the donation getting from some of the NGOs we, they bring us books we we have suggested to them the name of the books that they give to us they give us and we keep in the library so that the students can be accessible to it we have introduced the kitchen garden where all the ch children takes part in plantation of the in plantation of the plants which uh, so the, to enable them to know a bit about planting, about gardening, uh, which might help in their later life. So these are the few points which, which uh, our school have adopted.